Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and welcome to 333 Magic 9, where the tarot cards and the astrology stars come together to help you. There's a lot of exciting energy coming at you this month, and here's how you can use it to improve your life. I hope you will like this video and also press the little bell for notifications when my new videos come out. The tarot cards that will be used this month correspond with the astrology. They are the death card, which represents endings and beginnings, the tower, which represents difficulty or a fall from grace, the knight of wands, which represents leadership or travel, and the moon, which represents confusion and a need for clarity. Cancer, the tarot card for the first week of the month is the death card. It shows a skeleton in armor on a white horse. He's holding a flag and trampling on a king. It suggests the ever-changing cycles of nature with endings becoming new beginnings. So it's important to look at the cycles of life and see what is static and unproductive. Your world is changing, but it's also full of new potential. Look at the sun over there. Use this understanding and prepare, for if you're not stuck in the past, you can move to the future and keep the faith. <laughs> so as we look into the astrology, the month begins with Mercury in your fourth house of security squared Pluto in your seventh house of partners. Venus will help with a sextile to Pluto as mysterious Pluto turns direct. So the Mercury-Pluto square warns you to be careful to keep secrets when it comes to family and security issues. You may have disagreements that need to be worked out in private. Now, Venus can help if you agree that others have different values than you do. So use your intuition and find common ground in family disagreements. Now, Pluto's direct motion in your seventh house suggests that it's time to make important changes in your relationships or in business situations. Now, the card for the second week of the month is the tower. It shows a man and a woman falling from a tower that has been struck by lightning. There's also a crown that falls from the top of the tower. Although this, 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 this depicts destruction, it also represents what was considered powerful and desirable in the past is changing. There's a continuation of the cycle of change that has been happening and promises a new future that will rise out of the ashes of the past. Now, as we look into the astrology, the second week begins with the Sun, Mercury, and Mars together in your fourth house of security and Saturn going direct in the eighth house of shared energy. Now, the con concentration of energy in the fourth house suggests that you need to focus on family issues and building stability that can help you feel more secure. If you keep focused and don't get lost in your emotions, you can accomplish much. You may even have a chance to gain a sense of renewal as Saturn going direct in the eighth house can open new doors through cooperative projects. If you're willing to take on responsibility, your efforts may bring you a path to achieving a deep sense of strength and rebirth. The tarot card for the third week of the month is the Knight of Wands. This card shows a knight seated on his horse holding a wand in his hand. It suggests there's a lot of energy coming at you. Now this is fast moving energy and it suggests there can be unexpected communications or an opportunity for travel. The challenge is to maintain a sense of continuity and separate yourself from acting too quickly or emotionally. You may feel 
a need to express your deeper feelings. Now, as we look into the astrology, the third week requires adjustments as both Mercury and Jupiter will be going direct and Mars will be squaring Pluto. So Mercury going direct in the fourth house brings improvement in home and family issues. You'll feel more secure in your own skin. Jupiter going direct in your eighth house improves shared business and financial opportunities. This may also be a good time to intensify any intimate involvements you have as you may be sensing a deepening of feelings. But be a bit careful with your public image because Mars will square Pluto on the 21st. This is deceptive energy that pits your personal security needs against the outer world and other people. The tarot card for the final week of the month is the moon. It shows the moon shining in the sky, a dog and a wolf howl at the moon, and a crayfish is exiting out of the waters. This is a powerful card on the psychic and emotional levels, which can affect you on the subconscious level. You need to clarify yourself and listen carefully to what you are feeling, or there may be some deception in the air. Use your insight and vision to make wise judgments concerning new people and emotional situations. Don't be fooled and don't fool anyone else. The fourth week in the astrology features confusion as Venus will square Neptune in the ninth house and Mars will be entering Scorpio. So Venus is in the sixth house and focuses your mind on details and work. You're interested in creating harmony with co-workers. But the square to Neptune in the ninth house warns you may be seeing people at work through rose-colored glasses. So avoid confusion by using the energy of Mars as he enters your fifth house and sharpens your creativity and psychic power. Just remember, he also increases your need for sensuality. So be careful with people you don't understand, for they may not be feeling the same way that you do. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and this is my story. If you are a spiritual seeker, it may help you on your journey. I believe your spiritual development is as important as your religion. If you look at Christianity, it focuses on the life of Jesus. But Jesus was never a Christian. He was Jewish. If this thought intrigues you, you'll enjoy my new book, Light from Water, Freeing Jesus. It's available on Amazon.com and through fine bookstores. And it may help you on your spiritual journey. I'd like to thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Remember to subscribe because these videos are free and hit the little bell for notifications. And for a special offer, visit my website, internetpsychicreadings.com. I hope you will like this video and also press the little bell for notifications when my new videos come out.